YouTubers, Mike Martins here with the Mike Martins channel. Oh man, do I have an absolutely punch in the gut article I want to show you guys. Senior claims Vancouver Hospital threatened to discharge him to homeless shelter. And I believe this. Do you know why? Because when my dad was in the hospital, when he was diagnosed with cancer and they had to hold him for a few days, one, they were trying their best to get rid of my dad as fast as possible, no matter what. And two, there was a lady in the room and they were going to discharge her to a homeless shelter too. And it was pretty sad. She could barely walk and barely keep take care of herself. That is scary. And this is happening to our seniors. A lot of them that built this infrastructure, created these jobs that we, well, created what they could at the time to have us create these jobs today. Back in the day, there was very little government job back in the 70s and 80s. A lot of it was private sector because the private sector supported. And a lot of these are private sector workers that actually gave their lives to this country. And now, seniors claiming? No, he ain't claiming. He's telling because he ain't lying. They have to. They got to do something where 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 they actually um, start to doing things that they do to other people's parents, do it to their parents, type of thing. See what happens. I have no audio on this thing. Oh, of course I don't. And the pressure they give me here need to go. Antonio Scripatos says Mount St. Joseph's Hospital is pressuring him to be discharged, even threatening to send him to a homeless shelter. What they had mentioned to us is that if we do not discharge him, that Vancouver Coastal Health has actually asked them to drop him off at a homeless shelter. The 80-year-old has been in and out of hospital the past six months for renal disease, blood cancer, heart failure, and numerous falls. His daughter claims Vancouver Coastal Health offered to place him in assisted living, then reneged. Of Vancouver course. Vancouver Coastal Health had actually assessed him for assisted living. They yeah. said he qualified. And then they had asked us to go to our facilities, which we had done. They then asked us to pick a facility, which we did. They gave us his assisted living rate. And then a couple days later, they had changed their mind and said he was no longer eligible. Yep. Antonio Scripito says he gave up his apartment thinking he would move into assisted living. I can live alone. I cannot live alone. I can cook. I can do cleaning. Nothing. Vancouver Coastal Health told Global News, We work through the referral process with clients to support the move to assisted living, and will do so in this case. Daughter Eleni, hopeful her father won't be forced to leave hospital. They're trying to send him home to a home he doesn't have. Late Friday, a social worker advised the family they are working to place him in assisted living. So when I was in the hospital a few months back, it was very sad to hear the conversation that went on between the lady and the, 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 the I guess, the discharge nurse, telling her that they're going to basically, she's, she's well and she could go. You know, and then what I'm saying is like a lot of these doctors think they need they, a lot of them need to have more compassion and think about it as like, what if this was my dad and this was happening to my father? Would I allow this to happen? A majority of people with a soul would say, of course not. You know, I would never want this to happen to my dad. Right. And it's it's really sad that they're doing this. And and um, there was a guy in town here in the summertime that was walking around barefoot outside. And I stopped him. I asked him, what are you doing here? And this guy was younger. He's like 27 years old. I go, oh, uh, I got a taxi up here. I was discharged from a hospital in, in Vancouver. And he showed me his bracelet. And, and they discharged me here. And now I'm in, I'm in this town here. Uh, I'm like, do you have any connection? Do you have family in this town? Where are your shoes? Oh, I left them in the taxi. They, they taxied a guy discharged from Vancouver all the way here to Merritt. And he had no connection to the town, doesn't even know where, where, where he was. He has no idea where, I had to show him on the map where we were, because he had no idea where we were. So, I don't know what's happening, but this is becoming a bigger issue than, than we could imagine, because it's all happening under underlying. And these stories get caught in the media. Once in a while, the media, the reason why the media is reporting is because they got caught. They got caught. If they didn't get caught, or someone didn't speak up, then the media will try and keep it... Uh, of, of, of media, all media does that too. It's not just this one; it's all of them. 
They're instructed to only come out when they get caught. Not the media themselves, but when the government or something gets caught. Then they have to apologize for getting caught. So that's what they do. They apologize for getting caught. They don't apologize for doing this kind of crap, right? Eight-year-old Antonio Kriptos has been in and out of the hospital for the past six months, treated with uh, uh, renal disease, blood cancer, and heart failure and numerous fails. The Vancouver resident, who is now in Mount Mount St. Joseph Hospital for treatment of infection, claims the hospital is now pressuring him to be discharged. Worse, he, uh, he says... Staff even threatened him to a homeless shelter. I feel very upset and anxiety and pressure to go, Cryptos told Global News from his hospital bed. Cryptos' daughter, Eleni, says Vancouver Coastal Health VCH had offered to place her father in assisted living, then reneged. Of course they're going to renege. It's like um, basically what they do is they like to make people feel that they're going to get or the light at the end of the tunnel. And they're like, yeah, no, we control this, not you. We're going to decide. It's okay. Vancouver Coastal Health had actually assumed, assessed him for assisted living. They said he qualified. She said they asked us to get, uh, uh, to go to a tour of the facilities, which we had done. Then asked us to pick up, pick a facility, which we did. They gave us assisted living rate. Then a couple of days later, they had changed their minds, uh, mind and said, he was no longer eligible. Why? You know what's happening, guys? It's, I'll tell you what's happening, okay? Is I think a lot of the assisted living and the old home shelters are actually uh, Chinese-owned. Look it up. I'm not making it up. A lot of the Chinese old care homes and old care facilities, a lot of the ones in Canada, in Vancouver and BC, are, are owned by a Chinese conglomerate company, a big Chinese corporation. I don't know the name. But go look it up. You're, you're going you're gonna to be baffled when you find out. So I just want you guys to know that. It, it's actually owned by a foreign entity. And a lot of the homeless shelters, not homeless shelters, old folks and homes, because they charge a specific rate to be in. And a lot of them are well higher than what the government subsidy is. So a lot of them don't qualify to get in. But a lot of the wealthy Chinese uh, that come could afford to put their parents in there no problems no questions asked because they're paying out of pocket right or unless they get some little bonus subsidy you never know guys you know what i'm saying anyways so here's another video here mom grieves after daughter dies following discharge from vancouver general hospital that's heartbreaking absolutely heartbreaking i can't even look at her i can't even look in her eyes crypto says she uh he gave up his apartment thinking he would move into assisted living of course you can't, this is, this is, this is, in Canada, you can't do that. In Canada, you have to make sure you're living in assisted living for two, three weeks before you give up your apartment. Oh, yeah, you got to make sure. City so can't clean, you can't do nothing. And then in a statement, VCH told Global News they are work, they, they work through the referral process with clients to support to move assisted living and will do so in this case. Uh, pr- uh, Providence Healthcare, that's Providence, Rhode Island. Healthcare wouldn't comment on specifics of the case uh, in its own statement. Patients are discharged from hospital only when they are medically stable and appro- uh, and when appropriate supports have been arranged for them in their community, the statement read. Late Friday, the family says they were contacted by a social worker who advised them they are working to place creepatos creep- in assisted living. Elena says she's hopeful her father will be forced to leave the hospital. They're trying to send him home. Uh, he doesn't have. He doesn't have. She said, "This is a message for my kids in the future. Don't put me through this crap. Take care of me. Look, I'm taking care of your grandma. Grandpa died. I'm taking care of grandma 100. percent Actually, she's kind of taking care of me. She's making some good Portuguese homemade food now. But still." Kids, if you're watching this for the future, take care of your dad. You know, I've been a good soul. I don't want to be tossed around like this, like a, like a used, okay, the old cheap suit. You know, I just, I want to be, uh, I want to be taken care of. I don't got much time left. I'm 41 now. So, anyways, let me know what you guys think. Comment below. I like to hear your words on this. This is, a. Uh, it's touching. It's, it's, it's scary. 
Comment below, let me know. Thanks for watching.